Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel 9 tutorial. In this video, we will discuss about all about Laravel migration, right? After watching this video, we will get a full concept of Laravel migration, right? So Laravel provides migration features. So last video, we discussed about uh, very little about migration, but in this video, we'll uh, completely show you all the things, right? Laravel provides migration feature and by migration, we can create our alter table, right? We don't need to use it manually. So for this table, students table, we create it manually, but we will never create table or never alter table manually. We'll use our Laravel migration concept, right? So if I say with a more easy way, what is the benefit of migration, right? So if I say with a more easy way, suppose you are working with a team, right? There are multiple developers and some changes into the database for some requirement, right? After that, uh, they develop some things uh, in the code and push that code into the server. But as a developer, when you pull that code, it will get error into your application because code is now updated with the server. But if you just uh, go to the database, the table or uh, st uh, table structure or some things is missing, right? database related things are missing. So that's the reason Laravel migration is important. Okay. So we need to follow the migration concept. So by creating migration, you will get a file is generated into your uh, Laravel database migration sections, right? So inside there, we'll get all the migrations. So when you commit that things, this migration file will also commit and you will get, and if you migrate that things, you will get easily, right? So I think it's not very much clear to you. So it will clear when we discuss in deep, right? hope you will get some idea now if i just go to the database this is my lara 9 database and already connected so if you just check inside the dot env file a database is connected that is we are providing my database name username password and also we have seen that how to connect database in uh, in our previous video if you don't see that video you can see the links are provided in the description section right so by these settings we can connect with database now if i create any migration and that can be migrate okay so let's create a migration first so that all confusion will go right so just create another tab and simply to create a migration we need to use php artisan migrate or sorry php artisan make migration okay and my migration name is suppose i want to create a table with a employee right so create employees table okay and simply write create okay and the name of the table is employees okay now just enter this a created migration created employees table now if i just check inside here a new migration is created that is create employees table what actually put it here okay and if you just go inside this you will get all the things right so this is the new migration and this is the return new class it is the anonymous class it's uh, updated in laravel 9 actually in our previous uh, version we can see the class name but now these are not uh, provided in the class name it is anonymous class name and that can be used and it is helpful right now this file are created if you check there is a two function that is public function up and public function down right suppose if you want to create any things or if you want to alter anything you can write that command into here and suppose you wrongly created that things or if you want to drop that things or if you want to revert back what you actually did with the arm function then we can write that logic into the down function okay now I just want to create a employees table and migration created that means it's not created a table if you check our uh, the database so this is the lara 9 database there is only one table that is the students table now if I just uh, going to migrate that things all the migration file will run okay so there is one two three four five migration so all the five tables will create right now this is the uh, structure of creating employees table so this is the table id that means id is the primary key and it's auto incremented obviously and these are actually timestamps by this line it will create a two columns that is a created at and updated now i want to add some things suppose if i want to 
create a, a table column suppose a table uh, column name is suppose uh, string type that is the name I want to save the name and I want uh, to set the description of the employees so in a single description we can write all those things we can add email phone as a normal things like just creating new columns right so I want text and I want say description so whatever you can write D A C R I P T O description okay so by running this it will create five columns ID name description and for this created at and updated and if you roll back it will drop the employees table okay that's good now let's how to run that migration simply php artisan migrate okay that will migrate all the tables actually first time we are running migration that's the reason it's migrating so let's see what appearing so if you just go here in the structure you can see student table is manually created that the reason it will not consider in this dynamical concept but if you check the employees table fail job table migration table reset password table personal access token and users table so all the table is created as there is the migrations right so here you can see the migration create user table password is a table fail job and personal access token but you will not get uh, migration for migration stable actually these are maintained by laravel itself so if i just go to this and inside this you can see what is actually migrating so batch one batch one means in a single batch what we are uh, migrating so in a single batch these are created, right so first time we run the migration so all the table is created now this is the another concept suppose if i uh, create another migration suppose let's create another migration and i want to create a table uh, suppose teachers okay and let's create the migration name is also teachers okay then you will understand what is actually batch doing so if i just go here you can see there is teachers and i want to create the same right i actually uh, showing this how uh, these are actually maintaining the batch now if you check the database you have only these tables okay now if i again migrate then a new file is migrated not the all the things is migrated only the new things are migrated and if you check this uh, database you can see the teachers table is created and if i just go to the migration you can understand teachers table are created in a batch 2 means further if i create any other stable then it will create a new batch and in the same batch what we actually migrated we can understand by this migration table okay now the thing is i don't need teachers table here right so i want to roll back i want to revert back so how can do this so if i just use php artisan migrate rollback okay so if i uh, just use php artisan migrate rollback then you can understand the last migrated thing will delete okay means rolling back the create teacher stable okay now if you check you can see these are deleted also if you just uh, go to the database the teachers table also deleted so this is the rollback thing so we can delete the last migrated things okay now there is another command if i want to regenerate all the tables right how we can do this so simply just if i use php artisan migrate again then the teachers table again insert it and migration table batch also inserted okay so all the table are inserted now if i just want to go for refresh okay refresh this is the dangerous command okay so by this command it will drop all the tables and will create from the beginning so just write this so it's actually dropping that's the rolling back all the tables and is migrating for new so if i just check this we are getting all the tables but if i just go to the migration table the batch is same for all means it is completely deleted all the tables and created a new migrations okay 
now there is another things if i uh, just want to use or if i just want to see what are the other things for migration so simply just write php artisan it will actually help you so as a developer you need to use this php artisan enter okay so it will show you all the comments right so we are using the migration so just go here migration so there is migration we use that fresh and roll back if you want to use that things you can use this and you can understand this fresh command will drop all the tables and run all migrations install create the migration repository or all the things are written here you can see that you can apply that hope you can apply that and comment me how it's working right so this is your task now i want to discuss about another things that is introduced in laravel 8 means before laravel 8 they are not present this is the uh, laravel migration squashing so what is actually migration squashing this is basically a new feature and it was introduced from Laravel 8 version. So I already said, suppose you are creating a large application and uh, they are handling hundreds of migration files. So for now in our application, there is only six, seven migration, right? So if you are, there are hundreds of migration file inside your migration folder and while you run your migration, suppose in the mid time, any reason they failed or uh, sometimes the large time or a large migration it may time out or any reason not successfully done the migration then what happened actually then you need to delete all the things and you need to rerun the migration right this problem is solved by migration squashing okay so laravel provides schema dump option so if you just uh, go to the terminal and let's clear this and let's use php artisan schema s c h e a m a schema dump okay and if you just enter this a database schema dumped successfully what actually did this here if you just go to the visual studio code you can see a new folder is created that is the schema folder inside this mysql schema dump is created right actually in this file only those are stored which successfully migrated so if you rerun your migration then it will first check this file and only those will migrate which are not in the file right suppose uh, let's there is six files and three are migrated now when uh, running four they are failed or uh, not done uh, from this right so only top three table will uh, show here and when you rerun your migration it will first check this table and then see what is not migrated and it will migrate only those migration file it will not rerun these three migrations all right so this is a very important concept and it's introduced from laravel 8 and will carry uh, for upper version also right so i think you will get idea about uh, migrations and please comment if you have any questions about this video and next day we will going to create another things we will alter table how we can change table suppose if i uh, not need this description and instead of description i want to uh, show you some things so write uh, uh, name phone number uh, we need name but phone email need but not description needed so how to alter these things or how to add a new column right so we'll discuss about these things in an upcoming video for now please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day